They say that pride comes before a fall, but in the case of the modern day Republican Party, it isn't necessarily pride, it's more greed. See, right now, Republicans do have the votes in both the House and the Senate to repeal certain parts of Obamacare. They have laid out that plan. They're going to uh, use the bird rule to tie it into uh, uh, funding bills, reconciliation, all that you know, mumbo jumbo that they're talking about. And here's where they got greedy. They knew they could do that, so they decided, you know what, let's go a step further. Let's not just repeal uh, tax subsidies for Obamacare, let's go ahead and defund all of Planned Parenthood. And that's what Paul Ryan has decided to include in this repeal of Obamacare, in this reconciliation bill that they're currently drafting, is a complete defunding of Planned Parenthood. This is just another extension of the GOP's long waging war on women, because that's what this is about. 97% of Planned Parenthood services are just for health services for women who do not either have other forms of health insurance or cannot afford to go to other doctors. This is health care for low income women throughout the United States. Uh, less than 3%, that other 3%, uh, goes for uh, pregnancy termination services, things like that. But Republicans, in their minds, think that 100% of Planned Parenthood's activities are just abortions. It's just some abortion multiplex that we have to shut down. Nothing could be further from the truth. They just don't want women, low income women, to have any kind of health care in this country. That's why they're getting rid of Obamacare. That's why they're getting rid of Planned Parenthood. But here's the thing that Paul Ryan and his House Republicans and Senate Republicans don't quite understand. They had the votes to repeal Obamacare as part of the reconciliation package. They do not have the votes if they include Planned Parenthood. You lose uh, Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins, uh, two female Republican senators who do not support the defunding of Planned Parenthood. Now it's true that in the past, uh, at least Murkowski voted for uh, defunding Planned Parenthood as part of a repeal Obamacare package. That uh, uh, package went to President Obama, he promptly vetoed it, and Republicans knew that he was going to do that. See, at the time, it was a way for Murkowski to play both sides. She could go back to her constituents and say, yes, look, I voted, I voted with the Republicans to defund uh, Planned Parenthood and, and repeal Obamacare, so reelect me. She doesn't have that cushion anymore. She knew it wouldn't pass. Now she knows it will pass if she goes along with it, so she's much more hesitant to do so. Same thing with Susan Collins. And again, this all comes down to Republican arrogance and greed. It's the story of Icarus. These Republicans are flying too close to the sun uh, and they're falling back to earth dramatically. This is after four days. Four days ago they came up with a plan to repeal Obamacare that, hey, actually kind of worked for them, would have been horrible for the country, but it worked for Republicans. Within four days they got so damn greedy that they screwed their entire plan. The plan they have been working on for eight years. And it's all because of Republican greed and stupidity.